Last November, I was elected a 2018 Rhodes Scholar. Uh, I believe I'm the sixth in the history of Georgia Tech, so that was an extremely exciting and humbling experience for me, something that I definitely am never going to forget. So I'm studying biochemistry uh, at Georgia Tech. I arrived here as an undecided engineering major, but I was really open to inspiration. Before I actually started my first semester of college, I went on a tech trek through my scholarship program. On my trip was Dr. Lauren Williams, who was a faculty guide for my scholarship program, and I talked to him extensively on this trip about his research and what he does, and was just sort of so inspired by his description of his work that on the first day of school, I came back and I changed my major to biochemistry and asked to join his lab. My research is really focusing on how did the fundamental biological molecules that are required for life to exist, how did those come about? I felt like my personal experience of being transgender, being a scientist, being an activist, that I could really lend an, a new and interesting voice to the realm of, of the hard sciences. What a lot of people don't necessarily think about is that science, you know, it's, it's science, but it's, it's all done by people. And so it really matters who's, who's doing the science. It really matters who's doing it and who's heard and who's represented. And so for there to be an opportunity to have more voices of women and queer people and people of color actually participating in science, that will make a huge difference, not just within the community of scientists, but also in the actual sciences that's made. My drive and my passion has always been just to learn as much as I can. I mean, ever since I was a little kid, all I was doing was reading and, and going. I spend all of my recesses in the library. A lot of my interests are in helping people and making a difference in, in the world and in activism and advocacy. But I also believe that the furthering of the general knowledge that's possessed by the human race is a pretty noble pursuit. And something like determining how did life on Earth begin is is a pretty, pretty inspiring thing to be studying.